in the infinite silence of space. Where galaxies drift like islands of light in an ocean of darkness, a single event unfolds with such intensity it bends the very fabric of reality, not a simple death, not a quiet fading of light, but a cosmic transformation, raw, violent, absolute. A black hole is being born. This isn't science fiction, this is happening, right now, somewhere in the universe, and perhaps many places at once. Black holes aren't just terrifying anomalies or theoretical riddles. They are real, and their story begins with a star. A luminous giant, burning in the depths of space. Majestic, powerful, alive, but not forever. What really happens when a star dies? Not just any star, a massive one, 10, 20, even 30 times the mass of our sun, its whole life, a battle. Fusion pushes outward, a radiant, defiant force. Gravity pulls inward, relentless, patient, and in this balance, the star shines. Deep inside, atoms are crushed together. Hydrogen becomes helium, helium becomes carbon, oxygen, silicon, each stage hotter than the last, until it reaches iron. And that changes everything. Iron is a dead end. Fusing it doesn't release energy, it consumes it. The star, now filled with iron at its core, has nothing left to burn. No more outward pressure, and gravity pounces. In less than a second, the core collapses. The speed, a quarter the speed of light. Atoms crushed, electrons and protons forced into neutrons. The heart of the star becomes a neutron star, a ball no larger than a city, with the mass of our sun. But for some stars, even that isn't enough. Gravity continues its merciless descent, and at that moment, a black hole begins to form. An invisible boundary takes shape, the event horizon. No turning back, not for matter, not for light, not even for time as we understand it. From the outside, anything falling in appears to freeze. Trapped forever at the edge, but from within, it falls. Onward, inevitably, to the singularity, a point of infinite density, a place where our physics breaks, where our equations fail, where reality fractures. And yet even in this chaos, beauty emerges. As the core collapses inward, the outer layers explode outward in a supernova, a blast so bright it can outshine entire galaxies. And in that moment, the universe inherits. Gold, platinum, uranium, all forged in the violence of a dying star, the iron in your blood, the calcium in your bones, the silver on your wrist, all of it, star stuff, even in death, stars give. But not all black holes roar into existence. Some form in silence, collapsing without a final flash. Others are born in collision, two neutron stars slamming together, shaking space-time itself, sending gravitational waves rippling across the cosmos. And then, there are the monsters. At the heart of galaxies, supermassive black holes. Millions, even billions of times the sun's mass. Where did they come from? No one knows for sure. 
Did they grow from stellar black holes over billions of years? Or were they born big in the early chaotic youth of the universe? We're still searching. But what we do know is that black holes are not just cosmic destroyers. They are architects. They shape galaxies. They regulate star birth. They bend light. And they challenge the limits of our understanding. A black hole's birth is not an end. It is a threshold, a passage from the known to the unknown. And as we study these invisible giants, through gravitational waves, through telescopes, through mathematics and imagination, we come closer to answering the deepest questions. What is space? What is time? And what lies beyond the horizon? So the next time you look up at the night sky, remember, some of those stars are already gone collapsed into darkness, transformed into something eternal. Because even in their death, stars give us everything. Light that drives us to explore. Thanks for watching. If you felt wonder on this journey through cosmic collapse, consider liking and subscribing. It helps us reach more curious minds like yours. And always remember, the stars may fade, but their echoes still shape the universe.